So for today, I'm really excited to introduce two panelist speaker from completely different part of the world. So the artist Koki Tanaka, he is joining us from Kyoto, Japan, and Sally Talent, she's joining us from New York. Uh, for Sally, it's very early morning, and for Koki, it's really late evening. So we, I really like to take this opportunity to thank two of you to be with us today. So Koki Tanaka is a visual artist. His practice spans from video, photography, site-specific installation, and other interventions. And his work uh, explore uh, the relationality between human, how we can live together, and how what he calls collective acts could work between us with the society which structurally divides us. And many of his works has been exhibited both in Japan and internationally. And one occasion I'd like to mention now is the 2016 Liverpool Biennale, where uh, Sally curated and the pass of Sally and Koki crossed. And our moderator today, Sally Talent, uh, is, as you, many of you may know, the president and executive director of the Queen's Museum, New York. And after going through the pandemic, she's now leading the program of Year of Uncertainty uh, to work with the artists and the community, immediate community surrounding the museum to reimagine what museum could be after this pandemic. And former to that, she was previously the Liverpool Biennale's director Finale director from 2011 to 19, and also she worked as the head of program at the Serpentine Gallery. So many of the you audience um, from UK might be familiar with Sally's artistic and curatorial works. And for today, I will shortly pass to Koki for his presentation about his artistic trajectories. And then Sally and Koki will have conversation about his work and practices. And then we will open up the floor for the open discussion and questions. So that's it from my side. And without further ado, I would like to now pass to Koki for his presentation. Thank you. Okay, hi. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, this is uh, Koki Tanaka. Uh, my time is like 10 p.m. So I'm a bit, little bit like, uh, let's say, laid back. <laughs> so uh, 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 I try to uh, make my, my energy works. Uh, so um, I'm going to talk about a uh, couple of my uh project and i'm going to share my screen now and you are seeing my uh keynote presentation right um i actually uh brought like so many images now um but uh it's 20 minutes so uh i try to be uh faster or maybe cut some parts um but in the very beginning, I need to a little bit uh, restart, restart my uh, English uh, skill in a way. Um, uh, I, I lived in Los Angeles for a couple of years, um, then back to Japan in uh, 2016. Then uh, uh, I think that my English is getting a little slower, uh, even slower than the Californian accent. <laughs> And uh, uh, also, uh, I started to forget about many uh, vocabularies. So my uh, talk would be uh, even more simpler than before. Yes. So, um, so I, I, I just wanted to talk about the what, what is artist talk in the very beginning to, let's say, uh, uh, to show uh, uh, my point of view on the uh, what artists really means for me too. 
Um, so when I Google artist talk, you can find out like uh, uh, many artist talks, like from I don't know the the art fairs to the museum uh, or even like private uh, space, uh, wherever uh, because of the so many artists giving a talk, and uh, I actually really like to listen other artists talk uh, when I was in Los Angeles. Um, uh, because the the, the uh, artist talk also give me uh, how they uh, uh, how they understand uh, what they make and also how they see the world, uh, how they see themselves, uh, uh, or how they promote their artwork uh, to the audience. And uh, sometimes it disappoints me when I uh, listen to their artist talk in a way because um, uh, uh, when you see the artist works you have your uh, own idea on uh, those artists or artworks but once they talk about their work sometimes it's disappointing sometimes you you find a, like something different like newer idea from uh, their talk so I remember that uh, when I went when I went to Munster to uh, give a uh, lecture at the Art Academy there, uh, it was also with uh, Jeremy Diller was there, and he gave a talk, and that was really fantastic. I know his work, of course, but uh, I didn't know uh, from his like student work to the present. So it was really nice to see how he evolved or how he uh, uh, changed his way of working from the beginning to the uh, Munster project. So I, um, uh, and also I went to uh, artist talk by Hiroshi Sugimoto, I think in San Francisco, and that was a bit disappointed in a way because uh, I uh somehow had a uh, uh feed and the the image of the the uh, uh, him, image of himself in a way uh but when once he started to talk he become like uh like a too talkative about his work so i prefer not him to talk about his work but just showing the work itself so uh either way uh the artist so give you sort of like a uh, example of uh, who they are. So I'm kind of like interested in uh, uh, the, like the, the their personality, the, their character, how they behave. Uh, uh, so it, it it's really nice way to understand the artist itself. And sometimes, like I said, so, sometimes I prefer to. Uh, listen uh, what they talk because that's also uh, uh, like a, the the opposite of the Sugimoto's work like when you listen artists talk sometimes it's better than their work the art talk itself is much uh, also artists talk itself is become their work and uh, I also aware that uh, there is so many like a like a uh, lecture performance recent days uh, as a kind of like a form of uh, the lecture or artist talk itself become our uh, artwork so um, yeah okay <laughs> I uh, I just giving you sort of like a, a, a meta point of view of my artist talk today because I like to use sort of like a uh, meta point of view uh, on my practice too like when I uh, made some uh, project I also uh, showing myself in in the frame sometime and also showing the uh, film crew uh, in the frame so I like to give this like a sort of like an extra uh, layer uh, on the project itself so that's the reason why in the beginning I wanted to talk about the what that talk uh, means to me so today it's going to be a little bit like abstract in a way um, because I wanted to uh, I'm, I'm not wanted to let's say promote uh, myself or 
uh, my project, I prefer to give you kind of like ideas in a way uh, through my practice. So uh, instead of like promoting or uh, like showing you me as a like a great artist, I prefer to just share the my thoughts on uh, uh, like disaster moment, which is related to uh, of course the COVID, the pandemic, but also uh, my experience uh, of the uh, March 11th, the earthquake, tsunami, and nuclear disaster in Japan, and. Uh, uh, what I'm going to talk about is related to the, th this uh, contradiction of the idea, the abstract and concrete. So uh, the abstract is kind of like, uh, uh, I can also list it the, like a few uh, ideas, which is like global versus local or public versus private or planetary versus personal cho choice versus uh, care. So I try to to uh, talk about each one of the ideas uh, later on, but uh, uh, I just give you the the, the 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 big idea in the very beginning, uh, which, which is the uh, uh, I I think the uh, like be before pandemic uh, or before global disaster, uh, I was more thinking about the. Uh, abstraction is more important than the concrete life. Of course, we are start. Uh, I mean, the, uh, as artists, we uh, started from the concrete uh, life or everyday life or uh, things I found uh, nearby uh, to the uh, kind of like abstraction or universal or uh, whatever uh, bigger ideas uh, later on uh, f from the concrete life. Uh, but now everything has become sort of like a abstract, uh, which I'm going to talk about later. But so the concrete life, individual life, uh, individual uh, uh, situation would be more important than like a global or universal or uh, abstraction. So uh, I start with this. Uh, small uh, program that I, I curate or they say convened uh, uh, which was the uh, program uh, called Artist Cinemas at the EFRAX. Uh, the title is Far Away So Close. So if you just uh, uh, Google it, you can find the, uh, the selection of the videos that uh, I uh, uh, gathered. Uh, for this program called Artist Cinemas. Um, the, but I'm not, not going to, to talk about the, the individual works, but the, you can just uh, find out the, uh, the, the, the diversity of the works that I... I, uh, I don't want to use the word the selected. Like I, I just uh, yeah, uh, gather uh, those works. Because I'm not the curator, so I don't want to let's say the, one of the uh, curators uh, 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 practice is like selection but the, for this case uh, which is not really like select because uh, all the works I, I invited is like uh, uh, my inspiration as well so I really respect each one of the works so um, for this uh, uh, the program far away so close. I was talking about the the, the uh, this idea between the abstract and the concreteness. Um, uh, one of the reasons why I'm talking about the abstract because uh, uh, once we face this pandemic, um, uh, I think in the very beginning it was more. Um, let's say local disaster, maybe in Asia or in in like some part of uh, Europe, like Italy. But um, uh, slowly it become pandemic. Then uh, we were introduced uh, so many uh, like ideas how to prevent uh, infection, like social distancing, 
or or new normal or uh, other ideas like like uh, you shouldn't like uh, gather like uh, in a, a smaller space um, and uh, all those ideas uh, all those methodology which is uh, of course it's important to do it but at the same time I feel like uh, uh, why the singular idea uh, like uh, how the singular idea can apply for uh, each one of the local situations so um, the idea of social distancing or so uh, idea of the new normal become abstract for me or for everyone I think so the the uh, the I like idea they're uh, producing uh, of course it's uh, uh, it's a uh, it, it's a scientific fact that uh, 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 everyone can prevent, but at the same time, uh, it it it's too much to uh, it's too much um, focusing on the let's say like uh, uh, universal idea in a way. Um, so I when i uh, when i invited those uh, artist works artist films uh, i was thinking about this this individual concrete life like how we can rethink about the idea of the concrete life so that's the uh the the idea now i'm talking about the uh, uh abstract um so um uh i also uh talking about the uh the, this contradiction between abstract and concreteness um uh the first time i was thinking about abstract which was start from the the my experience of the uh march 11th the, the disaster in japan um this was the uh, installation view from my japan pavilion at the venezuela uh 2013 um, the title is abstract speaking. Uh, one of the reasons why I used uh, the word abstract uh, uh, that was because the um, yeah I I'm, I'm, uh, I didn't talk about the, the uh, detail of the uh, installation, but the, I, I I'm just going to jump in the idea of why the abstract came from um uh which was the uh this is the image from the uh, uh one of the site of the tsunami hit uh entire city uh called the uh, rikuzen takada um one of the reason why i use abstract because um uh the the disaster the this disaster the march 11th happened in uh locally like in japan which is far away from uh the japan pavilion in venice so i put the sign of the the exact uh distance from the japan pavilion to the uh nuclear power plant in fukushima um to show the how it is far away from one place to the other and one of the reasons why uh, I use the, the, the term abstract is because um, if uh, uh, I only talking about the, the disaster happened in Japan, people saw that it's far away, it's not their thing. Yeah, people just think about the something, uh, uh, it's like a, you were just reading a news or watching the uh, the uh, news on, on internet or TV that uh, things happening far away and that, that, that is not affect your life. So um, instead of just focusing on the locality, I wanted to uh, 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 flip the idea of the local to the uh, abstraction in a way. So um, uh, I'm just going to talk about the one of the projects at the Japan Pavilion. Uh, I did a couple of different projects there. Um, one one of the project is called the Precarious Tasks, which is the uh, uh, I uh, 
uh, did the sort of like a performative event with uh, 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 participants in different places, different cities. So when I went to Rotterdam, I invited the people, uh, 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 local people, to uh, brought them to the uh, hotel room, which located the uh, I think the fourth or fifth story building. Um, but the 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 floor it's exact uh, uh, height of 16.7 meters high which is the uh the water height of the tsunami in uh, uh tohoku area in japan um there was a couple of different water height like 40 meters high or even lower like somewhere like 10 meters high and i just talk about the different water heights uh in the hotel room then after that just leave them uh uh, there to just look at the outside of the the, the city itself so they were um, uh, start to uh, talk about the what what those different water height is and of course I'm Japanese they start to uh, guessing about the uh, it could be a wa uh, tsunami water height so they start to talk about the uh, uh, if it happens in Rotterdam of course it's not, but uh, uh, how they uh, uh, connect uh, like the, the experience in the, uh, the area of the tsunami hit um, to the Rotterdam. So uh, I, I was thinking of how we can transfer the experience, uh, uh, local experience into the totally different place. So this is kind of like an idea that I was thinking about like how we can um, uh, transfer the idea uh, or transfer the experience, transfer the, the, the feeling uh, of the local disaster into a different spot. So I, I just skip like a little bit like the uh, other works, but uh, um, so then um, later on, I uh, was uh, probably departure from this idea of the abstraction into a little more concrete. So I did the project in Munster, uh, which I invited the local residents of Munster to the uh, my workshop, uh, which was like nine days workshop. Um, you can still watch the all videos uh, online. Uh, I think you're going to get the link of each one of the videos. Uh, or the text that I uh, mentioned uh, in chat uh, later, or maybe you already got it. Um, for this project, I was uh, uh, there was a couple of different uh, uh, workshop ideas with the different facilitators uh, because it's nine days. Uh, it's uh, quite complex, and 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 uh, the film itself is like almost like four hours, so it's quite complicated work so i'm not going to talk about the detail of the each one of the ideas but uh uh at the very end um they have uh they had a, a conversation inside the car to exchange their, their personal uh, history and also family history uh or how like why they participate in this project so they were uh, uh they're not uh, driving they were uh, the the car is at the car park, uh, which was one of the sites I used for this project. Um, the car park used to be a uh, nuclear bunker, uh, so the the place uh, is the kind of like a, a multifunctional building uh, uh, made in the Cold War era. So I used uh, I choose that per the that place as the kind of like a. Uh, uh, like a foundation of the project itself. Um, so they uh, they were actually inside the car, then talk about, like I say, the personal uh, story uh, and the family history. So uh, through this experience of filming their conversations, I was uh, really fascinated by like how their uh, family is moving from one place to the other. 
Uh, some of them are from like uh, uh, Morocco. Some of them, some, some of their family is from like Morocco. Some of some of the family from like Poland. So they were quite like diverse. Uh, uh, they have like a different like diverse back background. So um, uh, through this conversation, uh, uh, like I say, I'm curious more about the uh, individual life in a way. So when when I back to Japan, I start to uh, like wondering about maybe I should do something more about the local uh, local issue. So then I made two different films. Uh, one is Vulnerable Histories, uh, a road movie, and the other one is Abstracted Family. And both uh, films are focusing on the racism in Japan. And uh, uh, you can also watch those two films uh, at my Vimeo uh, uh, page. Uh, you can also get the, uh, the link. So the Vulnerable Histories is about the uh, a Zainichi Korean uh, issue. Uh, Zainichi literally means uh, 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 living in Japan. So it's a uh, it's about the uh, the conflict between Japan and Korea. So, um, but uh, this is also still related to the idea of this uh, uh, contradiction between the abstract and concreteness. Uh, because the larger question is about the right-wing movement and racism, which, which is everywhere, not only in Japan. So uh, even though this local uh, problem, local issues that I'm focusing on, still it's kind of like uh, apply for other places too. But uh, uh, the, the project itself is also uh, related to my personal uh, uh, experience to to met the uh, Zainichi Korean uh, sociologist in Japan, and uh, uh, she was the former participant of my project. But for this burn of histories, uh, she became a uh, advisor and also the lecturer on the issues around the Zainichi Korean. So this is the image of the uh, like auto nationalist Ali. Uh, uh, they were doing demonstration walk uh, in the city, and even they were calling like uh, they are chanting about the killing Koreans, uh, or they they should go back to their home or something like that. So it's really like uh, uh, aggressive uh, uh, demonstrations. So she, she's the. Uh, 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 the sociologist that, that I mentioned. So I met her uh, in my former project. So she uh, introduced me to the uh, problem around the Danichi Korean. Uh, of course, I know some of it, but uh, it became more personal because of uh, because of her. So um, I'm not also going to talk about this detail of the uh, Zainichi Korean. Uh, I thought that it would be nice to talk a little bit, but uh, maybe it's too much information. But anyway, the, the, I, the, the word Zainichi Korean is referred to the ethnic Koreans who uh, immigrated to Japan as a result of the Japanese colonization of Korea. So they were, uh, uh, they, the first generation they were came to Japan when the Korea was Japan, so it was before the war, World War Two. So they, uh, but once they settled in Japan, uh, be, then the World War Two end. The, the they they lost the country in a way because the Korea become North and South. So Korean War. Uh, 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 change the situation for them so they couldn't go back to their home so that's the reason why they stay in in Japan and uh, then it become uh, like deeply rooted racism in Japan um, but uh, I'm not going to talk uh, I'm not going to go into the detail so um, I I actually little bit needs to uh, faster my uh, talk I think 
But uh, uh, I just give you three different uh, methodologies that I, I use like recently. So for the vulnerable histories, I actually did the preliminary study session, which is the uh, uh, because the topic itself is quite difficult to understand for uh, 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 foreigners. Uh, so um, I, for the vulnerable histories that was invited the uh, uh, Zainichi Korean uh, uh, women from Japan, but also the uh, uh, Christian, uh, which is the uh, uh, American Swiss uh, person from uh, uh, Switzerland. So uh, for, for him and also for the film crew uh, from Japan, I wanted to share the, the issues and also the knowledge of the uh, the project itself. So I, I I made a sort of like a study session for them to also not only for them but also for me to un, uh, more understand uh, what the issues around this uh, what 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 the problem around this uh, issues of uh, Zainichi Korean. But also I. Uh, uh, did the kind of like a gender equality of the staff member of the film crew, uh, which was a uh, little bit reflection of my experience in Monster. So, and uh, um, the second methodology is the uh, layered narrative, which is the uh, uh, the the, um, the horizontal line is the the history and the current problem which is the 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 history of the great kanto earthquake uh, related to the korean massacre and uh, the current problem is the hate speech uh, towards the uh, danichi koreans and the vertical line is the the personal voice and the private conversation uh, and the the project is itself is divided in different chapters so i'm not also going to talk about the the detail but anyway um they there is different voices that i uh documented one one of the voices about the like i said the korean massacre uh, after the great kanto earthquake in 1923 and he's the uh, activist uh who uh, 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 uh correct the the voices and also the article uh, interviews uh, around the the Korean massacre. And uh, again, uh, I also uh, ask the the two protagonists, uh, Uhi and Christian, to talk about their personal story and also family history. This is a reflection of the monster project that I uh, introduced before uh, the conversation inside the car. Uh, 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 probably you also experience that, that when you drive a car with uh, your friend uh, or your family, you are talking about like uh, something that you never talk about because the the moving towards the one place to the other by car, uh, you are kind of like forced to uh, stay inside the car, right? Like if you go to I don't know somewhere by. Uh, somewhere for like one hour and two hours uh, you are moving but at the same time you uh, have to be with the person you next next to it so anyway I, I uh, like I say in the beginning I was uh, uh, more focusing on the abstraction uh, which I, I believe that they could transfer from the local disaster or locality into different places um, but now I feel like uh, uh, maybe because of the COVID, um, uh, I, I, I think that the, the uh, individual uh, concreteness would be more important than the just abstraction. Still, I, I'm reflecting the idea of uh, abstraction, but I prefer to uh, focusing on something more uh, concrete and something more, uh, uh, something that the, like locally uh, uh, important. So um, uh, I didn't talk about the the other work, the abstract, abstracted family, 
but the, uh, 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 it's also similar to the idea of the burn of histories that I, I was talking about. So I try to focusing on the individual voices um, uh, to uh, to understand the, the the what the local problem is in Japan, and uh, so that's the kind of like a um, uh, idea uh, which I kind of like a shift from. Uh, uh, 2013, 2011 to 2013 to the present. The used to be I was uh, uh, more thinking about the idea of how I can transfer the one spot to the other, but now I uh, I'm more focusing on uh, digging the one specific uh, issues. Um, and so for for the conversation with Sari, uh, uh, actually we uh, uh, we talk about the a uh, uh, few uh, keywords. Uh, I think there there was three different keywords, right? The the one is convening, and uh, like assembling, and uh, the other one is the care. And I actually forget about the third one, or that could be the first one. Uh, we we when when we had the meeting before, uh, 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 we we talk about the something else, but I forgot. But anyway, so from now on, <laughs> uh, 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 we can talk about like those three different uh, points, which somehow uh, related to my practice and also uh, your practice. Sorry. Yeah. at the Queen's Museum. Right, so thank you for this uh, invitation to reconnect uh, with Koki, who I haven't seen for a long time, but um, yes. nice, it's nice to reconnect digitally. And um, the third word was actually connections. Uh, so ah, the connections. We can start with that, actually. So, um, you know, it's interesting. I'm, it's the morning here in New York. And, um, <laughs> In the, uh, uh, middle of the day in the UK, but, but um, many of the things that that you touch upon um, in your practice are about bringing together connections between people, really intimate connections between people, places, and histories. And I was very moved when I watched um, some of the work about the kind of embodied trauma that you managed to kind of bring forward in the work. Um, and so I have a question to you around this idea of the intersectionality of history, place, time, and individuals. How do you weave together or create the possibility of empathy and listening in your work when you attempt to, to, to bring together people in these connections? And how do you build those connections? This will um, take us somewhere else, but like you know, we we spoke before about how you go to a place and you bring people together, and that more recently how you've done that actually in the place where you live. At work. And you talk a little bit about how how you build that those communities. Yeah. Um. Thank you. I um. I think like. Um. When I when I did the project with you at uh, Liverpool, um, around the moment I was uh, uh, kind of like a pack of like traveling in different places and different biennials, uh, different shows, which was really great for me because I never thought that I became something like that. But at the same time, I feel like it's kind of like difficult to find the certain things that uh, I could relate. For the Liverpool, I I can relate because of the the children strike from 80s, and how I could uh, redevelop the uh, idea of restaging of the children strike in Liverpool. Um, through those I, like historical ideas, I could somehow relate to the city itself and also people there. But uh, uh, 
uh, time to time I feel is a little bit uh, detached from this idea of doing something in different places. So uh, instead of just uh, try to uh, research something when I go, uh, I just uh, do research uh, what I'm really wanting to do. So maybe I'm become a little old, I think. But uh, uh, so that's the reason why uh, 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 like recent films become even more personal, even though the, the, uh, the, the topic itself is uh, because I'm not the Zainichi Korean, but the topic itself is uh, uh, like separated from me. But still, uh, because of the friendship, because of the, the place I live, so I try to uh, uh, start from really local individual life. That's the probably reason why, uh, like I could kind of like build, even though it's a temporary community or temporary group. And also, I uh, like the idea of running community in a way. Uh, so the f the making the film itself is a learning process. Even though. Uh, like they call me a director or artist, but still I I don't really know much about the issue or much about the the, the things I'm going to uh, talk about. So I, I instead of like me teaching someone, I prefer to be uh, uh, I prefer to be like a student in a way. So um, yeah, Th that's probably the reason why I could somehow uh, assemble the people that I respect in a way uh, to uh, to exchange the knowledge. So the 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 e even the uh, even the project that I did in Munster, uh, even their local people, they have different also skills, different knowledge. So I like to kind of like build the the like inter. Uh, uh, more, more like a mutual uh, learning process, not only the facilitator teaching the, the, the things. It's interesting because I, you know, I like this idea of study sessions that you did with the film crew as well and like that you did with the whole community. I also yes. do that in the museum, you know, we have learned ah, okay. money for all staff. And, you know, when we were speaking earlier, I was talking about this idea of situated knowledge, which is a Yes. Um, you know, in situated learning, Maxine Green proposes that where, you know, what's possible to comprehend is the combined knowledge of the community. So you have to learn mm. together what you can potentially know about a situation. And I think you embody that actually in the way that you make your work. One thing, one thing you talked about, which I want to jump to, because it, it goes from there, is this shift from abstract to concrete, and particularly. Um, you know, when you talk about moving around the world and finding points of connection and then building out projects from those points of connection. Um, one thing you said to me that I thought was really interesting was that like for the first time globally, we've had a collective experience through the pandemic of something very abstract. So we all have uh, at the same time across the entire world, um, had to um, navigate, you know, sheltering at home, not traveling, being located in a specific community, worklessness, unemployment, all the rest of it. And so what normally you have to struggle to do, which is to create connections with a wider community, actually this collective experience, how does that open up the way that you're thinking about um, post-pandemic practice for you, like what, what have you learned during this time and has it shifted your understanding of what abstraction might be even further? Um, I actually remember that uh, uh, it, it, it's related to the, my feeling of the, the March 11th, the disaster in Japan, the earthquake and tsunami, because around the time I feel like uh, Japan is kind of like a, uh, like uh, I mean, the the artists in Japan we don't have something like foundation that we could share in a way. Even though we have art history, 
uh, uh, most of the Japanese art school, they don't really care about the, the history, <laughs> no way, even the Japanese art history. So uh, the history itself is not become the foundation, but because of the, the, the uh, nationwide disaster, it become uh, kind of like a foundation to uh, uh, to to it, even though like uh, any generation of the artists can do it uh, or, or dealing with it, even though they don't uh, directly do something. So I think this world pandemic, it's also probably the similar things that we, yeah, we we share. Uh, even though it's kind of like, like I said, it's, even though it's abstract, but still, we share the feeling, we share the the, the similarity, and we also understand the uh, why why people like uh, like looking at myself, like I become more in a way emotional <laughs> sometimes, uh, or also. Uh, uh, I'm really thinking about like my family, my my parents, because before I don't really care about <laughs> them, but now I feel really, yeah, like I I call my mom almost every day, so like those shifts of like becoming like uh, I don't know, uh, uh, global entrepreneur become more like a family person or something like that, <laughs> which is quite important shift. For everyone, I think, and uh, that's also related to the care. I think uh, we like, like uh, I remember that the, you did you released a statement uh, as a museum director that the museum is not only about the caring the collections but also caring the community. So museum uh, should become more like uh, the place for everyone, and I really like this idea uh, of the the museum become the in a way the care uh place of the care so um i think the shift uh from uh 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 now uh because of the pandemic i think it's it's also related to this care uh practice i mean it's it's interesting to vote the the question of care because um you know, I moved to the United States three years ago from the UK and um, just before the pandemic. And um, the idea of individualized care, which is the case here, um, whereas in the UK, you still have the NHS, there's still provision and access to healthcare, which I think makes an enormous difference. I don't actually know what it's like in Japan, but I think it's been really shocking to me to realize the lack of care that's systemic care in the United States and um, as an institution you know how can we take care of our community including our staff and the wider community and the people that we work with but I think you know when we when you think about that in relation to um, how you take care in your practice I mean it has to resonate on those kind of individual levels as well as the like systemic ways in which cultures choose to take care or not of their communities and of people. Um, it's it's uh, it's interesting, you know, one would hope that following a pandemic experience, which is now an endemic, um, we would want to centralize the idea of care more but i fear that that will not happen and we will not learn and things will return to a situation where there is not um not equitable access to care but actually it's still the burden of care is on the individual but i'm, I'm curious to know what you what you're thinking about that now i bought the book after you spoke that you were reading this one <laughs> So I'm reading it. I haven't read it yet. Okay. Yeah. The yeah. I actually uh, quite inspired by the book that Annemarie Mo, the logic of care, which was actually I I let let the whole book when I uh, I like uh, when I quarantine at home uh, in the one room because uh, la last year I had a high fever and uh, 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 my partner really uh, worried about me might get the COVID. So 
I was at the like small room for almost a week, so I, I started to read this Anna Marie Mo book, and uh, uh, she was actually introducing introducing sort of like a, a contradiction between the the choice and the care. And the choice is related to, uh, of course, the individual, and uh, 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 like uh, also related to the like a uh, modern uh, uh, humanity, which is important. But at the same time, uh, 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 the 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 care, like when when you talk about the care, it's always uh, interdependency, not uh, your like a single uh, uh, like individual. But but uh, we we have to live as a group in a way to uh, uh, help each other and also uh, uh, there is no like a uh, the single uh, uh, single way of uh, solving things. So every day or every moment or every situation uh, we have to uh, dealing with or we have to adjust. So I, uh, and and more actually say the doctoring. I don't know. This is the word uh, that related to adjusting. But the uh, doctoring is the uh, important for her. Uh, we have to have, like we have to do uh, each one of the moments. So I I I uh, I'm really inspired by this idea of uh, changing uh, our methodology. So. Uh, uh, when when I reading this book, I feel like almost like uh, let's say be, because last year uh, I I don't have much work, I only write uh, and 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 I produce this book reflective notes, but I didn't have any like productions or sales even, <laughs> so it was really hard for me to think uh, me as the artist so I just wanted to even quit to be as an artist so I start to uh, thinking of how I could like care myself in a way but when I read this book I feel like maybe I can just change something else that's also fine because we have to change the methodology uh, we can also rely on someone like friends or parents or na neighbors. That's also the way we uh, we build a society. So I think that's the kind of like uh, uh, the the core of the care, the idea of the care. I think. Thank you for sharing that. I think um, you know the crisis that you describe of like how can we continue how can i continue to be an artist what does that mean when actually all the institutions that support the way that we live in the world kind of wobbled and collapsed a little so everything fell apart right every every infrastructural you know like the um museums were closed exhibitions were cancelled mobility was cancelled, like national distancing was imposed on us all as much as social distancing was imposed on us at home. And, you know, so many, so many people now in this um, push to return are actually making different life choices. Like it, it is very interesting moment where people are saying, I don't want to work like this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. But it, but the recalibration of value, I think is interesting because what you were describing, what we're experiencing is a crisis of capitalism. And, and uh, this is an opportunity for us to center care in a way that potentially we had forgotten to, or rather hadn't done. But um, I mean, I don't know how it feels where you are right now. Here in New York, there's a, a lot of talk of a return you know the tourists are now able to return so the city feels fuller the subway is fuller it's coming back but there's still masses of people for whom that's not true many people are unemployed many people have lost family members the grief is palpable so what I don't know what do you think we can learn and I do think as an artist I mean it's very honest of you to say you have this wobble but this is you would be a very in my opinion Kind of disconnected person if you hadn't experienced that crisis because we all did i mean how are you supposed to run a museum during a pandemic it's very difficult you know so um yeah i wonder and then also you you were very productive because you had a baby i mean that's pretty productive yeah um <laughs> i don't know whether that's a question but it's this 
question of life, <laughs> what can we do to recalibrate care in our practices? Maybe is the question. And and does that apply to how you might? Yeah. I think well, um, maybe I should a little bit talk about the fa the, fa the family Be because, like like you say, the the I I I got the baby last year, uh, under the uh, emergency state of Japan, I think. So it was really everything is really hard. Like when she was at the hospital, I cannot uh, I I can see her, but I cannot go to her. Uh, room because mm -hmm. of the COVID uh, prevention measure. So um, everything is like quite, uh, let's say, uh, difficult. But at the same time, um, uh, I I start to thinking about like because uh, the the personal situation is completely diff like a uh, changed. Uh, that was not because of the COVID, but because of this the 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 child care situation and uh, uh, before I never thought that uh, I, I, I should rethink about my methodology of a working uh, uh, situation conditions uh, uh, depending on the, 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 the child care situation so everything is now uh, uh, related to this so I, I rethink about the, the, the time when I can do a meeting or talk or uh, how long I can go uh, like go to Tokyo to have a work or uh, when I can go to uh, other country uh, so which was somehow related uh, similar to the situation of the COVID I think because we have to think because the COVID is the the foundation uh, of our life now, if it's become an endemic, so um, uh, there is no returning to the returning to before. Like we have to, we should change anyway because of because of this, or we 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 can we can live with this situation, and that's probably uh, I know that the many people has a baby so uh everyone not everyone like many people knows how to deal with the situation so i think uh in a way uh, uh we have uh, uh some of us already have a uh, experience or knowledge of how we can uh, rethink about our life itself so uh, uh hopefully the this pandemic uh gives us sort of like uh uh uh, different idea of how we see community, society, or ourselves.